Hey, Bill. Good morning. This is Peter Gilpin again. I had uh, reached out yesterday afternoon, spoke to you real briefly, said I was going to send you over a quick video just showing you guys some things you could do to improve your website and bring in some more traffic to it. Now, if you're wondering why I'm making this, uh, I just find that a lot of business owners, you know, don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for themselves to bring in more customers. And typically, the only thing that will hold them back from hiring somebody is they just don't know who's an expert and who isn't. Now, what happens is, you know, when I make these attack plans and just give them out for free, it still results in people calling me back here and there and saying, you know what, Peter, I like you. I'd just rather you take care of this stuff for me. So uh, at the end of the day, Bill, you know, if you just wanted to take what I give you, apply it yourself and run with it, be my guest. That works totally fine. Uh, if you did want to, you know, schedule another time to talk more about it and how I could implement some of this stuff for you, I'd love the opportunity to do so. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, the things I wanted to talk about are going to be content backlinks and citations okay so first and foremost just looking at your website it, it looks beautiful right I, I this looks like it was professionally made um it's you guys have pictures it's like it looks modern right you've got a theme i like i'm personally i'm a big fan of like blue and pink it's like makes me think of cotton candy um and you guys have a lot of content so as far as like the overall structure of the website, you guys are doing great. I think I plugged everything on your homepage into uh, this word counter. This is for someone I was doing competitor research on. Um, but you guys have about 25 or 1500 words of content on your homepage, which is the minimum Google wants you to be at to be considered an authority. And then each of your back pages needs to have about 500 words. Let me see what, what your back pages look like. I mean, if you guys have that much on the homepage, I'm, I'm pretty confident you guys are going to have enough. Okay, so maybe some of these back pages could use some more. I can tell that's not going to be uh, at 500, probably a little bit short. Uh, but again, you guys are moving in the right direction as far as content goes. Um, and another thing too, while I'm here, Bill, let me go back to your homepage. I just want to show you something a lot of SEO guys aren't really aware of. Um, something else you guys can go back and do too. See how, the, so your images. Okay, see, so that's Appliance and AC Repaired Dallas, Texas. See, that's. But the thing is, is you guys have a that uh, underscore in there. Each of your images can be saved as a keyword. So maybe just AC Repair Dallas, Texas. And then your next one, you know, Electrician Forney, Texas or whatever have you. Um, but yeah, each of your images is a, is a golden opportunity to stuff more buyer intent specific keywords uh, into you guys' content. So that's enough about that. I'm going to move forward into a tool that we use called AREFs. This is a paid tool we invest in. Um, there are other free ones out there that you could use yourself to get all this information. We just choose to pay for it because it compiles a lot of uh, really important data and organizes it all in one spot. So you can see we plugged you guys' website in here. Now, your URL rating and domain rating, we want this to be close to a one-to-one. -one. So you, that's, that basically uh, validates like how trustworthy you guys are in the eyes of Google. And all that is judged on is based on the quality of other websites pointing back to you with your backlinks on them, right? So you guys are doing good. A lot of times, you know, this uh, the URL rating will be like a 20, 30. The domain rating will be down like in the, you know, like less than five or something. That's really thrown off. The main thing to keep in mind when it comes to adding these referring domains and backlinks is that you want, you want backlinks on websites that are only relevant to your industry. And for example, like you guys do HVAC, you don't want to go advertise on a pizza website or something, you know what I mean? Because you guys don't make pizzas. Google just, that smells fishy to them. Um, and a guy that we were comparing you guys to was Infinity Texas Air. And I'm just going to show you some of the, I'll plug their information in here as well. I just want to show you some of the things that they're doing right, you guys can mimic. And the reason we're going with them is because if you scroll down past the ads and the Google My Business pack, these guys are the first one popping up uh, organically for AC Repair Forney, Texas. And I noticed a lot of the keywords y'all were being found for were for Forney. Um, so yeah, so you can see that they do, the reason these guys are beating you and getting more traffic is simply because A, they have more referring domains and they have more backlinks. And they're also being found for more keywords, which you guys are doing too. Um, you guys have keywords, you have content, so you guys are doing a lot of the right things. I think personally, the the biggest thing that would help you guys out right now is not even worrying about the content, 
literally you know do do some research get in here and find out the exact same relevant websites that infinity texas there has backlinks on see if you can go make profiles and and get a backlink on there for yourself um so that's that moving forward i know this is a lot of information bill sorry i, I can kind of ramble because it's all really interesting to me but the last thing that would help you guys out is getting ranked in this google my business pack okay statistically speaking a lot of people will skip these ads because or they have ad blockers so they just don't see them in the first place and a lot of people don't have the patience to scroll all the way down here even though that's the first organic result feels kind of like it's at the bottom of the page so a lot of business winds up going to these top three people in this google my business pack all this is based on is getting citations all a citation is is how many times your business name phone number and address are listed in different directories throughout the internet like yelp yaks white pages yellow pages angie's list craigslist home advisor is even one so literally just go find out the exact same directories that forney is in add yourself to the same ones and let's say they have 100 get at least 50 if not 75 to 100 more on top of them and you guys like fixing it getting more backlinks more relevant backlinks that or uh, Infinity Texas Air is doing and creating a Google My Business profile and setting that up, you you guys would see a huge influx of customers alone, Bill. So um, that's all I got for you, brother. Again, I know that was a ton of information. Just a quick recap. Content is king, but you guys' website, like you have a lot of content, so I personally wouldn't stress too much there. Just do what you can, see what tools you can use, and go and dig in and see these backlinks and referring domains that Infinity Texas Air is doing. And a lot of these, you can just go in and create a profile, and then you can like put a link to your website in your profile description or something like that. And then for the uh, Google My Business Pack, it's all citations. Literally just go find the same directories that Forney Air is listed in, put your information in there, and then find 50 more on top of that. And you guys would see a huge influx of business, I promise you. Um, so that's all I got, Bill. Like I said, I'm going to have this in over to you very shortly. I appreciate you taking the time to click and watch it. Um, if you did find any of the information helpful, I'd love at least just a line of uh, feedback. Let me know what you thought was good. Um, and if in the event you did want to sit down and maybe talk about how I can implement some of this stuff and help you guys moving forward, I'd love the opportunity to do so. Again, my name is Peter Gilpin, and my number is 682 269 6391. Again, that's 682 269 6391. Thanks so much, Bill. Have a good one. Bye.